Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you a snellet that I like to use when I snell my hooks. You can see here on the Triple City uh, rig, there's a snell used on this hook. Same thing also with uh, Chunky's rig I have right here. Um, they both like to use snells and it's best to use a snell knot when you are using baits or circle hooks or circle hooks with bait or live bait because uh, your hookup ratio will be uh, much better with a snell knot. Um, as you can see, that's why it is on Triple City Angles Rig and Chunky's Rig. If you guys are interested in getting any of these uh, Triple City Angles Rigs, I'll provide a link below and then also you can visit Chunky's channel to uh, get his version of it as well. But I'm going to show you a simple snell knot that I like to use. This is a seven odd circle hook. And I'm just going to use this uh, 60 pound leader that I have here. I usually like my leaders to be anywhere from uh, two to three feet, depends. Um, but it's better to cut off enough, you know, so you can make it whatever length you want. But here on the seven odd hook, what I'm going to do is take the end of the line, I'm going to pass it through the top of the hook and then I'm just going to hold this line down here with my finger and then we're just going to do a couple wraps around the hook shank we're going to kind of do it tight um, it's going to go around the hook shank and then also the line that I'm holding so you're going to try to wrap them tight and what you're going to do is as you go around so that's one two and what you can do whoop it fell off hold on one, two, but as you wrap it, you can pull the line this way to kind of keep the barrel or those loops together. So that's three, four, five. You can see I'm trying to keep these loops together. Six. And uh, lucky number seven. You can see that they're pretty tight right there. So then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold uh, right here just so I can keep those wraps together. And I'm going to take the tag end or the other end and put it through the bottom of the hook eye. Pull it through and then we're just going to cinch everything down. Like so, and hold the hook here, kind of pull right there. And then we've got the little tag in here. You can cut this off um, to whatever length. Here, I'll cut it off real quick. Like so. And then there's your snail. It's a pretty nice and easy snail. And the reason you snail is so if the Fish grabs it, and you also want to make sure you go through the hook eye the right ways. Um, so when the fish grabs it and then it swims off, what's going to happen is here, I'll show it this way. It swims off. You can see how the hook, the way I'm pulling it, pulls it right into the fish's mouth. It should hopefully get him in the corner of the mouth. So that's the reason why you want to snow the hook, because look at that. See how it goes right into my hand. So that was a quick and easy snow that I like to use for my rigs.